We're live! Weiss, welcome back to Zenny62 on YouTube, Zenny62 Media at CES 2018. Tell my viewers about the great advances of the OrCam product. Super excited you came by and excited to show OrCam 2.0. Last you were here, I believe, for the original OrCam. Yes, sir. This is now OrCam 2.0. What we've done is reduce the size down to basically the size of a finger. This tiny little camera right here is going to help those with low vision, blindness, extreme dyslexia by reading to them. Basically, this camera is going to translate what it sees, your environment, into audio and whisper in your ear right through this little speaker. Wow, that's incredible. Hey, so uh, one thing I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to tweet this out. Uh, it will only take a second and uh, because I want everybody to see this fantastic presentation. And, uh, well... That's not, yeah, there it is. Share. There's Twitter. Okay. The OrCam is going to basically, the audio is going to come through the speaker. So let me show you the first feature of OrCam, which is really exciting. The ability of the device to take translated audio. Of course, the touchpad up here on OrCam 2.0, it's basically to read everything in the field view. And that's for like a book. But what about, I've got a newspaper here. If I want to read a specific column, the OrCam 2.0 allows me to integrate my finger. So I'm actually going to point towards text I'm interested in. If I can see the big text, then maybe read the small text. It takes a picture. I tell Marlon, go. Los Angeles, when I present her And I stopped because I actually saw my finger in, right? So that's wow. what stopped. I tell Marlon, go. There you go, it's going. Los Angeles, when my ears end. There's another gesture that's really exciting called the stop gesture. I just bring my hand and it stops. And if you want to put that down right here sure. again, if you pan back a little bit, I'll show you the time gesture. I can bring my hand up as if I want the time. Mm -hmm. The time is about 27 minutes. It just tells me Whoa. it's based on like this gesture. So other things it does in addition to reading is... That's very Tony Starkian. Yeah. In addition to being able to read, it also can recognize faces. So I've got a gentleman over here on the right. If it's okay, I can take a picture of you. Hit the camera. Force it to take a picture. Thinking about it, one man is in front of me. So he's an unknown face. So it's going to tell me a male or a female or a child, and then it's going to do all the reading it can because there's a lot of text around. If you take the time to learn someone to the device, I'll turn the device around so it looks at me as if someone else was looking at me. Reese Filmer. It's got my name, right? Face recognition. Other things it can do, I probably showed you this last year. Money denominations, I can just point towards the money. thinking about it one dollar one dollar we've got three million barcodes loaded in in version 8 which is super exciting because if you can find a barcode you can point to it we've also got color recognition in this device it does so much about eight or nine different features all in a little device like this less than an ounce it's point wow not connect this orcam 2.0 does actually update over Wi-Fi so no SD card needed when the new version of software comes out you just connect it to your home network once you plug it in in a home or network environment, it checks for upgrades and updates automatically. And given its usefulness for people who are sight impaired, if I have a healthcare package, do I get a discount? Or what's the pricing now? How does that go? So in the VA sector, the government is actually buying it for veterans, which is wonderful. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Unfortunately, insurance companies, they don't buy hearing aids. And they, don't, they don't make exceptions for OrCams either. But we're hoping as we kind of get out there and show and demonstrate what this type of technology can do and sure. the independence it can offer. We have had some insurance companies call us and contact us and some premium level services, they will actually reimburse for it. But for the individual buyer, how do they want to get it? Like so the best way to go is to www.orcam.com, put your information in and a representative will actually contact you because the device does include two to three hours of training in the home. So when you buy the device, an OrCam certified person will come to your home, set it up on your eyewear, and make sure you know what you're doing. How does it power, like batteries and sort of thing? Just micro USB, plug right in the back right there. Mm -hmm. The OrCam 2.0 will last about an hour and a half of constant use, mm -hmm. but you just have a lanyard that goes around your neck and it just hangs out here during the day when you're not using it. Yeah. You basically swing it here, and when you bring it up, you put it up there, so it can last the whole day depending on how much you use it. Wow, and this, Tell my viewers how this whole, this fascinating story, how this all came about. Yeah, so OrCam, I like to say, is like the little brother to another company called Mobileye, which has been around for over 20 years. Amnon and Ziva, the founders. The story is that Amnon's aunt lost her vision, and she said, hey, you're a computer vision genius. Can't you help me? <laughs> Supposedly, he might have said something like, you know, I'm not that kind of doctor. But then he started thinking, wait, I've got cameras in cars, because that's what Mobileye does moving in a direction of autonomous driving. They were actually bought by Intel six months ago for $15.2 billion. Wow. So now they're no longer part of the OrCam family. We stand alone as a company. OrCam 
makes devices for people with low vision and blindness. And that's kind of how it all started based on, you know, yeah. Yeah. other technologies. Reese, great presentation on that. Thank you so much. Hey, thank thank you. you for your time. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Workcam.com. Hey. hey, so folks, uh, remember that it is uh, workcam.com. And thanks again, Reese. Much appreciated. Much appreciated yeah. by you. Thanks, thanks again.